Hello everyone, welcome to the video. So recently I've been building this tool to generate images using DALI 3 API because it's cheaper to have your own like tool to generate images than to pay 20 bucks for ChatGPT plus. plus. So uh, yeah, I've decided to build it, but also I didn't want to do like special auth things. I just wanted to share it and uh, you know, make it easy to access it for two of my, of my friends and me who wants to use it, but not for everyone. And since it's in a public domain and everyone would like be able to access it, I couldn't like allow for that. Uh, mainly because, uh, yeah, it would like cost me a lot of a lot of money. So basically, what I've done is here is an input that you have to paste uh, or write the password which me and my friends like uh, told each other about and here's the prompt and this video is actually about Next.js middleware because I've used it into this project and I will show you how. Uh, so let's get to the code. Here's our middleware. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how to create a middleware because uh, yeah, I actually found it in the docs. You can, you can find it here routing middleware uh, yeah it's like one page for the middleware and uh, it's not so obvious but here's the convention and in the root of your project to define middleware so uh, basically you cannot put middleware everywhere you want to like it's not like with the for example pages uh, like you can see it here up and like here's page DSX. So yes, you have to call this file middleware.ts. If you call it the other way, it will not work. And also it has to be put in like your root app directory that has a source. So in my case, I have a SRC directory in the root of my project. So I have to keep it here. If I would have the flat structure, which you can choose when creating the Next.js app, then the middleware.ts should be in a, you know, root directory, but probably not a, lot, not a lot of people choose it. So basically it has to be put here in the SRC or in the root. It cannot be put inside like app or anything like that. It will just not work. Uh, that's how they did it. And also you can have only one middleware per your app. So it kind of sucks, but uh, I will show you or just talk a little bit about how you can handle it. So let's look at this uh, middleware uh, and see what it does. Like here's our API secret key. It's the password that me and my friends like agreed on. And I read it from the env. We can actually go there. I changed this value. So here's our open AI API key. And here is API secret key. I called it YouTube. So like here, when the app is deployed, if you'd like to use it, you have to paste here YouTube. If you like paste any other value, it would just basically return a 401 unauthorized. So it's like the, the most basic auth and probably you can go like to some extent with this approach, but at some point it will become so hard to maintain and like not good at all. But uh, for my case, I guess it will be fine. Then I basically check uh, whether we've got this because as you can see here, when you read from process.env, it returns strings or undefined, which is uh, obviously all right. Then uh, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't really matter how you call this middleware. Uh, yeah, and now the important and actually interesting part, this middleware will, will be run on every single request to your uh, Next.js instance. So you might think that it will run only to your API route. For example, here is my API route. So it's inside the SRC app image and here is route. And basically what I'm doing here is generating the image with the OpenAI uh, SDK. So what you might be thinking is, well, it's probably just going to run on my API routes. 
like on the normal backend, but it's not. It's actually running on every single request. So, for example, let's say someone goes to your home page or to your about page, or actually to every single page that is rendered by the Next.js, it will go through this middleware. So it's actually pretty interesting because you can uh, do, for example, a little bit more complex rerouting or redirections. It's actually shown in the docs, we can go there. It's one of the first examples. It's like it, they are redirecting to the slash home or actually I'm not sure whether it's from slash home to the, yeah, I guess it's just redirection to the slash home. Uh, so let's say you've, uh, you want a little bit more like a dynamic or a little bit more complex redirection system than in your Next.js config because you can do redirections there, then middleware is probably a good way to go. Okay, let's uh, just end this file and talk about it. Uh, what do we do next? Like here's our headers and I'm reading from headers the authorization header. Uh, like basically from the front end side, I sent there, I can show you page.tsx. Here's our password and here is our mutation. I'll give you a second to look at it. So basically what it's doing is sending a post request to slash image and in headers, there's authorization header and here's our password and in the body, I send prompt. That's all. Then I read this authorization header and if the password that is sent from front end is not equal to the secret that I've said I want to use in my environment variables, mm. then I just return response unauthorized with status 401. That's all. And if everything is fine, I use next response dot next. What, what uh, if you are familiar with the backend uh, architecture or anything like dot next is just like you, uh, you, it, the function will uh, pass it to the like it like the middleware didn't happen. Uh, yeah, basically it's just continuing the, the things that it's supposed to do. And of course, if you change the headers or anything like that, uh, yeah, they will be changed in the for example in the root uh, because middleware of course run before your root and the last important part in this file is the export con const config here is our matcher basically it tells to the middleware that it should run only on the slash image root and it's fine because like I don't want to get unauthorized on my home page because I can actually show you I hope my dev server is running that if I go here now and I'm going to refresh yeah it's loading cool yeah I get unauthorized because it actually run and with like the fetching page I don't send the authorization header so yeah this matcher basically says that it should run only on slash image. Also, it can be an array, which is helpful. And also it, it could be something like mm, if you uh, have your API routes on slash API, it could be API slash uh, asterisk, which, which basically says that it should run on every single route that is in the like API directory. Yep. So let's see if I have anything uh, to talk about no like I guess that's that's all uh, I think it's a really cool way to implement basic auth because like of course you could have like normal uh, authentication and all but I would have like to use like a third party provider which I didn't want to use for such a simple app or run my own auth and probably my own database which also I didn't really want to use so I guess this middleware is just fine. We agreed on some uh, secret password and we'll put it in the input and no any stranger, not any bot can uh, use it, use this endpoint and uh, like 
use uh, my token to open AI. So I guess it's a cool approach. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, like share it with someone and see you tomorrow because I'm doing a, a daily, like it's my challenge. So yeah, keep it up, keep it up and see you in the next one. See ya.